Celine Dion. Thank you so very much. Thank you for the lovely music. David, you have given your best performance ever. <laughs> this is home away from home. At the same time, I'm supposed to feel extremely comfortable being home. And right now, I'm not quite sure how strong I feel. I wrote a few things. I'll pass probably a few lines and let my heart decide where it wants to go. I think we've heard it all, you've said it all. But let me start by saying, good evening, dear friends. Well, I want to start by thanking all of you from the bottom of my heart for being here this evening to honor Renee, the love of my life. He would be so happy to know that we are all here together telling stories and sharing memories and playing some of his favorite music and especially in this beautiful theater that many years ago was one of his dreams come true. I also want to thank all of you who spoke so eloquently about my dear husband. I feel the love in this room I feel his strength and his warmth being reflected in all of you. Renee always surrounded me with the best people who believed in us and who always worked so, so hard on our behalf. Many of you are here with us tonight. And forgive me for not, not naming names. Because over the years, there have been so many individuals who have carried our torch. And Rene would be upset if we overlooked anyone. But you know who you are. And more importantly, he knows who you are. Pretty amazingly, Renee never hated anyone or had a wrong opinion about someone. Is it ever possible that someone loves everybody? I don't think so. But he never told me. He never told me what he disliked or the person he didn't like. And when I think about it, why didn't he? knowing him so well, and I'm pretty sure you would agree with me. Why spending time with me to tell me that this person, he didn't like this one, or he didn't like this, or he didn't like that? Time was very precious to him. He loved life so much. 
he loved life so very much. And life loved him. He never took any second to talk to me against anybody. And I'm pretty sure, again, I'm repeating, I'm insisting, he had opinions on some people. Even sometimes, if I may say, I had opinions on some people. <laughs> I think you know me so well that you know where I'm going. That he never allowed me to give my opinion if we were not alone, if there would be family or dear friends close at the table or somewhere somehow, when I was about to start and say, but what? He would either kick me under the table or give me like, or <laughs> he would give me a sign that I understand very well that me, his wife, the artist that I am, the performer that I am, behind closed doors, you can tell me anything you want, but not in front of people. An artist, a performer, never judge another one. And, um, Doesn't mean I don't have opinions, and we all do. But it would have done what for me to say to some friends or family members that I dislike this performance, or I know what it takes to perform and to be on stage and to give our best. Sometimes our best is the 30% of what we have left in us because we're sick, because it's all that we have left in us. We give it all. It's not always perfect. But I learned everything from him. But this is something that I didn't write, but it came to me just now. And I remember this for the rest of my life. But I would like to mention our friends and partners at Sony Music, AEG, Caesar's Palace and the CDA feeling team, as well as so many people in the media and, of course, the talented writers, producers, and musicians who have helped to shape our dreams from the very beginning. And boy, it was said before tonight, but. Did he love all the people? Every time I met someone and he was not there, I came home and it was like, so what did she say? Well, she, she just said that she liked the performance. But, what, but what, what exactly did she say? And I'm like, well, she just said that she, she, she was happy to be at the, perform at the show. And she, no, but ex I said, Renee, I don't remember. Like when people say to me, oh, you were great, great show, and blah, blah, blah. I'm trying not to, not that I don't want to hear. I don't want the words to affect me. I don't want. I want to hear, but I just want to take a little. If the person comes to me and say, we had a great night tonight, I don't need to, to hear the rest. All the compliments that I refuse to hear, probably help me without pretension saying so. Remain the person grounded that Trini wanted me to be so much. I know you said it as well from someone who brings in the paper, the newspaper in the morning, to the manicure person, to the barber, to the hushers, to the fans, to everyone, from a person who has no shoes, like Dave Platel said, to someone who's a 